Hi, greeting again. This lecture is about a new form of uh, CRC card. It's very important if you want to learn anything about a class, a concept, or a pattern. Why did I say that? Patterns. We know a class correspond to a concept. But every Every concept in a dictionary is a class and is also a pattern. We have a very important lecture about that. We're going to talk about that and actually explain it. And by doing this, we're building a system of patterns. Going back to our topic, the CRC card, we're trying to really show how to build dictionaries in any topic or any discipline or any systems using concept, class, and patterns. In that, this is, they are the same. The original, the one which is I showed you in figure one, has um, has eight elements in a CRC card. In action figure two, this is complete. I have a detailed one. This detailed one is actually, I describe how it, everything. For example, for a class X or concept X, you put class name. Call it class name X in the first row. In the, then a class has a type. And this type, by the way, in any system development, we have three type of classes. We have system actors, we have roles, we have system classes. Remember this. And actually, I have a lot of heuristics about this. You have to learn. Because most of the people, when they start building the class diagram, they build the class diagram for actors and roles, and they ignore system classes. And the fact is, the number of system classes is a lot more the actors and roles combined. So you have to have class name X, name it anything. So naming has a, a certain convention to do it. Then you have the type, has to be. And the type has to be, again, an actors or a role or a, or a system class. This is, again, the first one. Every class has a role. In the roles of the class, some roles which is attached to the role of an actor. That's a must do. So each role there has to have a CRC card. When the system classes have only a role to really ease re reading the whole entire uh, CRC card and understanding. For readability and understanding. So the role here is a class role. So why we have a type? Because we have a new methodology, have three different types than the traditional one. So we're gonna talk about this uh, the, the new three types is EBT and BO and IO. The three new classes, we're gonna talk this about this in details and show we use a CRC card in a new setting. The same CRC card. But the class here is actually time is going to change. Everything the same. Now, where I define the role? The role here would help me to define the responsibility with three conditions. If a responsibility has to be one, has to be unique, has to be within context. What do you mean unique? Every class in the system has a unique responsibility. Doesn't have the same responsibility of other classes. This is it. You cannot have and, just one. So if you say, teach and research, or teach and play soccer, does it make any sense? You cannot do that. So the idea here, there is no and, it's just one responsibility. And within context, that means within the scenario of that system. So 
this is very important. So if I use a hand to write, this is a responsibility is writing, correct? The role is writer. It's one is very unique, is actually in the context of writing. I hope you get that. Then I have collaboration. Collaboration divided into client and server. The clients represent the classes, need the service of class X. In the server, in this case, and actually this has heuristic too, because again, we have to avoid a lot of problem. This is cause because you, know, you could really cause a lot of problems. So we have to work on this. I'm showing these heuristics. There's quite a lot of heuristics that you must know to put the CRC together, by the way. So to give you an idea, the class clients has to be two or more. And two or more with no violations of the balance. And then we'll talk about that in details. You have a server represent is actually is a class. But in the server here, we'll find the operations or methods or whatever the system will form to provide for their class. You see? So this class advertise is responsibility, which is broken into collaboration with two or more collaborators or clients and show what I'm going to provide for you. This is actually has a number too. And this number of operation has to be from five to 12. I have to rethink really within the context when you create those operation. So, because this is very difficult, and I show you in details when we try to show how to build the CRC card. I'm going to go step by step for doing that. Just a new lecture. So, some operation we cannot even name was in context. And you cannot give the responsibility operation belong to other class. These are violations of encapsulation too, by the way, and uniqueness, because again, we're talking about uh, polymorphism. Means the operation has to be in the, in the class, the class is polymorphic, has a unique responsibility and has a unique operation, long claim only. So you have duplicating operation there, it's gonna be a problem. Why three, three? You can do it in assignment, but again, in work, you have must have five or more operation within the responsibilities. And they actually have to be all volumorphic. This makes sense? Okay. Then I have a section here for attributes, which is actually list. Uh, attributes from three to 10. Industry and 10 has to match with the need for the operation. So you cannot just name data within this attribute has no value, no need to. So you really have to serve the operation, consume these attributes. This is the detailed description, figure number two, and I hope you like it. It has a lot of details on it. You will see it, and actually we have, we're gonna follow with the way to build a CRC card, step by step, to show you how to do it. And actually for how to map the CRC card to a class diagram, there's another lecture. And this is very important for you to learn how to do that. Now we have a complete information there. Any section is missing or to be to determine to be determined is a wrong thing. Because when I build the model like this, it has to be complete. It has to be consistent with a CR, with a class diagram. So if you build a good CRC card, you build a class diagram very easily. And it's also not philosophy, a lot of heuristics. 
We'll talk about it later, as I said, the class diagram. I also attach a meta model for, or a descriptor for the CRC card, for FIAT CRC cards. And we'll show this, and this is very obvious, describe exactly how those classes mangle together. I said, uh, I said, mine classes, which is really true. So I list, when I build a class diagram for meta model or other, I have to name all the classes. And this is by itself, in this definition, is different than the other one. The other one, I don't care to rewrite a meta model about it because missing a lot of information. They are not going to be connected correctly according to the rules and heuristics of building a CLC card. So, and you have a name class, which is actually has a type. You cannot have multiple type, but class is one type. And this type determined the role. So for example, if I have a type class actor, person, in, 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 in actor here, the type person, so a person that have a role, what sort of role? Is a surgeon, for example. So this is actually another role we have to consider in our system. When you name the responsibility, it's very really easy, you know, perform a surgery, as simple as that. That's one responsibility. This is easy as I indicate for actors and parties. But again, it's not easy for system classes. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, this is very important. So the idea here, we're talking about how to define responsibility. Then from the specific responsibility, specify collaborations. Within the collaboration shows the clients with the class name, the service of this class. We call it server, we provide operations from five to two, this is again the relationship between collaborations and clients. Clients are part of the collaboration. It has to be two or more. And then you have, you have aggregation on the other end of the collaboration. The server is part of the collaboration, this one. And when you have the relationship between each other, you must have two or more attributes <coughs> associate with server. You cannot create a class for one, for one uh, uh, client, it doesn't make any sense. The client said has to be, and this is a class diagram is a violation by the way. In here we have the server provide from five to 12 operations. The number of operations more than that, you have to break the class and you have to give, you have to split the class into two different classes. <coughs> Not class one, class two, no, no. It has a unique name for each one. In this operation consumes attributes. The attributes is part of the of the concept class. The clients are part of the concept class. And here part of this may, I uh, know this is, sorry, so clients is a class. This is actually inheritance. You'll find the operation as part of the class, but you have the server is a class. The meta model shows this and you can go through it. We're gonna go through it in practice and build the CRC card. Where you start, where you end, to come up with a complete CRC card. No, any part of it is missing. <coughs> there is a lot of example I provide. And this example, quite a bit of examples. And show CRC sample example is complete. And of course, there is no overlap of anything. 
for example, all the operation is monomorphic. The class is monomorphic. The attributes is monomorphic. You must do that. In all the cooperation, it has the clients it have two or more clients. This is actually examples. But I will work on two examples to show you a complete set, C card, then you show you the class diagram. Very easy to build the class diagram this way. I want to thank you. This is actually I'm going to attach the paper, which is both thread and research gate. Very happy reading. Thousands of, of, of reading for this. This requires some thinking for how to build a CLC card. So two abstractions about the class you try to put into your system. And by doing that, you don't have anything missing. By doing that, you have really to do less maintenance on your system. That's why this is again as NEST and IST uh, agency, they indicate the maintenance is 80% of the life cycle. This is a complete lie. We actually trapped into maintenance and software development all the time. It costs a lot of money. You could call the percentage of the maintenance is 2,000%. From the original value of the world or more. I want to thank you. This is actually, uh, I hope you like this lecture and I would hope you follow it. And I'm looking forward for the second lecture with you. Thank you very much and take care.